The Tomb of the Unknown Soldier is a monument dedicated to servicemen who gave everything in defense of our country. Located in Arlington National Cemetery, Virginia, and attracting millions of visitors each year, the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier stands proudly, protected by tomb sentinels. The soldiers of the 3rd United States Infantry Regiment, the Old Guard, took over the right to guard the tomb in April of 1948 and continue to carry on this sacred duty. The Tomb of the Unknown Soldier has been guarded 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 365 days a year for the past 77 years. But what exactly does it take to be a sentinel? Selfless service, training, time, and ultimately perfection. And it all starts with volunteering. Um, basically all soldiers are selected on a volunteer basis. Um, nobody's forced to come down here. Um, we take them only if they're volunteering. Um, that way we know we're getting a soldier who really wants to be down here. So we put soldiers through two different types of training. It could either be a two-week uh, TDY class, as we call it, or it could be a 30-day TDY class. The TDY cycle is to get prospective guards to learn the basics of uniform, rifle manual, marching, and memorization of history and facts, each of which is completely unique to the Sentinels. All the candidates' uniforms are torn apart and rebuilt from the ground up in order to achieve their standard of perfection. Everything we do down here is for the uh, soldiers that are on the plaza that gave up everything, gave up their life, gave up their identity. Exactly what we uh, try to try to perfect our uh, performance, our uniforms and everything to hold it to the highest standard. Take pride in your uniforms. You putting time, putting work into your uniforms, getting them good is just the same as you doing well outside because it's, it's honoring the unknowns. So every coat of polish I put on my shoes, every time I shine my windows and boogers, that's for them. At the end of the TDY cycle, candidates are tested on their uniform, outside performance, rifle manual, and reciting seven pages of knowledge verbatim. On average, about 60% of candidates will not graduate the TDY cycle. Successful candidates are counseled, assigned to a relief, issued Tomb Guard uniforms, and dubbed Newman. Newman assists the reliefs in preparing sentinels prior to guard changes, work on building and maintaining uniforms, and are given more knowledge to study. They're constantly evaluated and endure three more tests before earning the privilege to take the Guard Tomb of the Unknown Soldier Identification Badge Test and receive the distinction of being called a Sentinel. On average, the entire process takes six to nine months with an overall attrition rate of 90% and proves why the Tomb Guard Badge is the second least awarded identification badge in the United States Army, only second to the Army Astronaut Badge. Okay, so the first thing I'm tested on, and that's what you saw in the morning, was the uniform testing. Down, down the line, it tests overall appearance, uh, meaning posture, how you look. And then it, it goes from overall appearance to uh, measurements, to how your blouse looks, to whether or not it's been sewn correctly, whether or not it's been pressed correctly. Just making sure you know how to do the uniforms yourself and making sure it's to the standard, which is to perfection. If it's not to the standard of perfection, then it get, gets gigged. You're only allowed two deficiencies. That was the first part of the test. The second part of the test that kind of lasts throughout the day is the outside performance test. Uh, gigs on outside performance would be such things like posture, again, um, whether or not you're staying in cadence or the rhythm of the person changing you out, your rifle angles, basically anything, anything that can go wrong, um, they can gig you on. They could, they could even gig you on uniforms outside. The third thing that I'll be tested on is the brief. And uh, basically what you're doing there is you're showing the sergeant of the guard that you know how to brief visitors coming in. He's got to know that we can hold our own and prove that we know about the tomb. And that's where that 17 pages of knowledge that we had to memorize come into play. On top of the constant evaluations and maintaining the standard of perfection, the tomb guards and sentinels have a work ethic all their own. We work on a nine-day work schedule. 
basically the first five days uh, we work a we're on work and then off work uh, basically working three days um, 26 hours on 22 hours off basically is what it comes down to we wanted to speak to Sentinel Johnston more, but duty to his mission took precedence and he had to get ready for his guard shift. Yeah, I've got four minutes. Yeah, you want to start getting ready? Yeah, yeah I'm going to need minutes. to get ready. All right, that's fine. Sorry. <laughs> With only four minutes before he had to walk out the door. Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention, please? I am Sergeant Leamy of the 3rd Infantry Regiment, United States Army, Guard of Honor, Two of the Unknown Soldier. The ceremony that you are about to witness is the changing of the guard. In keeping Order. with the dignity of this ceremony, oh. it is requested that everyone Ready. remain silent and standing. Hey. Thank you. Pass on your orders. Post and order. Remain as directed. Order. Act acknowledged. Ready. Thanks. Present. Oh. If a tomb card passes their badge test, their hard work, dedication to perfection, selfless service, and tireless efforts accumulate in a badge ceremony with members of the regiment, friends, and family. But for the Sentinels, the prize is not another piece to add to their uniform. It is about honoring those that gave their all. When you first get down here, the goal is never supposed to be about the badge. I think every, I can speak for every single Sentinel here, we would do our job just as hard, just as well, if this badge never existed. If you really know what you're doing, you're guarding the unknown soldiers who gave everything. Their parents never, never got to bury them, ever. And you are out there guarding the unknowns for those people who never got that satisfaction of burying their loved ones. And I just feel an overwhelming sense of, of pride to be able to do that. And while the extreme weather conditions, long hours, and high standards would dissuade volunteers from coming forward, the Sentinels all stated it was their greatest decision. An extremely stressful, fast-paced, life-changing event. Easiest way to explain it. But all for the better, right? Oh, absolutely. Um, it'll change you as a person, it'll change you as a soldier, teach you how to be a leader teach you how to be led, um, you'll learn more about yourself than you ever thought you will. It'll push you to the edge physically, mentally, and then it'll push you some more. And if you have that drive and motivation to keep on pushing, you can make it through to the end. The Sentinel's Creed. My dedication to the sacred duty is to total and wholehearted 
and the responsibility bestowed on me, never will I falter. And with dignity and perseverance, my standard will remain perfection. Through the years of diligence and praise, and the discomfort of the elements, I will walk my tour in humble reverence, to the best of my ability. It is he who commands the respect that protect, his bravery that made us so proud. Surrounded by well-meaning crowds by day, alone in the thoughtful peace of night, this soldier will in honor glory rest under my eternal vigilance. Simon, 1971.